do you draw the line between helping someone without hurting yourself? You know, there's that, what immediately came to mind is that analogy, um, you know, when someone's drowning, there's a certain way that you save them as a lifeguard, and I'm not a lifeguard. If you can look at me, you can tell I'm not exactly a swimmer. But there's a certain technique in saving someone that's drowning in the water, and that technique is specifically designed so that you don't yourself get pulled in and, and drowned as well. But I know there's a strategy behind it because a lot of times you can spend, you, know, you can put forth effort into helping someone and end up hurting yourself in the process. One thing that you said a second ago, we talked about going out and grabbing that person and bringing them in. There's this idea of being a lighthouse versus a tugboat. And you were talking about being a tugboat. And there's a reason, there's a reason why tugboat engines burn out very, very quickly. But man, I've been so intrigued by this concept of being a lighthouse, especially when you talk about under the umbrella of truth and just shining. And it's not the lighthouse's job to decide whether each individual boat follows this direction. It's just the lighthouse's job to sit there and shine, right? And you see lighthouses, they're there for hundreds of years. People freaking go and visit lighthouses and take pictures of them and they're there forever. But when you really try to start embodying what does that mean for me to be a lighthouse in my industry, in my home, in my community? Um, what does that actually look like? And again, starting with vulnerability, but then leading by example and all those different things that come with, with being a, really a leader. And again, I think it's, it's, it's just living and in, in leading by example. And that's really what I, what I wanted to do and why I wanted to start documenting things so that they could see more of the real life of, of what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not perfect by any means. And I show the good, bad, and ugly. Um, but if the intent is right, then I think that that's what's, in, that's what's important. You can spend too much time, allocate too much time towards helping another person that you know, really isn't willing to help themselves, that it can actually start to, to hurt you, hurt your production, hurt your uh, potential. And so, yeah, that for me, it's gonna be personal and contextual to every single person that's listening to this. You've probably all been in a situation where you've tried to help someone, you've tried to help someone, you've tried to help someone, but there was a point where you had to draw that line. Uh, and I think that that's extremely personal to each, each individual. And all you'll end up doing at the end of the day is exhausting yourself. But just by being able to stand and provide an example for others, to me, is the way I wanna to try to live you know, my life, uh, but basing that in truth. And by expressing that vulnerability, expressing those truths that are uncomfortable uh, and giving other people the audacity to do the same thing. And those other people, just through the law of attraction, like they'll come to you, you don't have to go grab them. Like those right people, like those 23, 24 year olds that need it. When you're setting that example and you're putting your stuff out there, they'll come to you, you know, they're coming to you. And um. But you know where I draw the line is when I first get that gut feeling that that I've I've got to I've got to I've got to exit politely. Um, usually, the first time that enters your thought process is is when it's time to cut it off. Um, yeah, certainly empathetic um, for people that are going through stuff and, and I want to help as many people as I possibly can. I mean, that's the whole reason why we're doing this. Um, but people have to be willing to help themselves as well.